Hey, what's up YouTube? In this problem, we have an indefinite integral and we're gonna use something called tabular integration. So what is tabular? Tabular is one of those like optional topics that you may or may not have seen in your calculus class, but it's super powerful. So in this video, we're gonna do an example of how to use tabular. So first of all, when can you use tabular? Well, when you have something like x to a power times an e or, 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 x to a power times like a sine function or or x to a power times like a cosine function. And there's other cases too, but these are the three most common cases where you would want to use tabular integration to save yourself tons of work. In this case, the other way to do it besides tabular would be to use integration by parts three times. Here we'd use it four times. Here we'd use it five times. So it's ridiculous. So instead of doing that, let's use tabular. So when you're doing tabular, you pick one that you're going to differentiate. And after repeated differentiation, you have to get zero. So you start with x cubed. That's the piece that after repeated differentiation is going to be zero. And then here, this is the one you're going to integrate. So you pick one to differentiate, pick one to integrate. Pick one to differentiate, pick one to integrate. Then you just start taking derivatives. So the derivative here is 3x squared. Right, because you bring down the 3 and you subtract 1. Yeah, it looks okay. Then you do it again. 2 times 3 is 6, right? 6. 6x six to the 1. I won't write the 1, but there's a 1 there. There is a 1 because you, you subtract 1. Do it again, so you get 6. And take the derivative again and you get 0. And you stop here because it's 0. So you pick 1 and you differentiate all the way to 0, right? All the way to 0, always. Then you just integrate this one. So when you integrate e to the negative 2x, you can just divide by the number, right? So the first time you do it, you get e to the negative 2x, then you're dividing by negative 2, right? So I'm going to put the negative here and put the 2 over here. Then you do it again, right? So again, you're dividing by negative 2. So we get e to the negative 2x, and then you're dividing by 2, but there's a 2 there. So 2 times 2 is 4. And then say, what happened to the negative? Well, negative and negative is positive, right? Negative and negative is positive. Then you do it again, except this time it's going to become a negative. So e to the negative 2x over 8, right? Because 2 times 4 is 8. And then one more time, right? This time it's positive, so it's e to the negative 2x over 16, right? 2 times 8 is 16. So again, tabular, when do you use it and how? Whenever you have x to a power times an e, x to a power times a sine, x to a power times a cosine. And what do you do? You pick the one that after repeated differentiation is eventually zero. So this one, and you just differentiate. Boom, 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 boom. Then you integrate. Boom, 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 boom. Then, always, always, you start with plus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. Always start with plus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. Then you draw arrows. I was thinking like missiles, I don't know why. That's it, that's it, that's the answer. Now you just follow the arrows, right? You follow the arrows, let's see. So following the first arrow, it's gonna be negative one half, x cubed, e, e to the negative two x, right? E to the negative two x, I don't wanna mess up, it's so easy to mess up on these. So let's see, positive and negative is negative, so we're still good, there's the negative. Then let's see, negative, negative, and positive. That's negative there again. So negative, negative, three-fourths, x, x squared, right? x squared, right? We have an x squared there. e to the negative 2x, right? So, so we followed the first arrow. Yep, looks okay, right? Looks all right. Follow the second arrow. Looks okay. So we have our following the second arrow, we get this. Oh, look at this. It's negative again. But look, 6 over 8, 6 over 8, 6 over 8, 6 over 8. 6 over 8 is 3 over 4, so 3 fourths, right? 6 eighths is, 6 eighths is 3 fourths, and then we have the x. Then we have the e, the e is still there, e to the negative 2x. And then again, it's negative, like they're all negative, I don't know what's going on. 6 over 16, 3 over 8, right? So negative, negative 3 over 8, e to the negative 2x, plus c. Don't forget the plus c, you always have to write the plus c in the indefinite integrals, right? So if you watch my other video on the plus C, that's a fake video. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Um, and that's it, that's it. I hope this video has made sense and this has shown you the power of tabular integration. That's it, until next time.